Hi everyone, this is Satyajit. Welcome to my channel Cloud Journey with Satyajit. So in our last videos, we discuss about PPC peering and we understand how peering works and what is the advantages and what are the limitations of PPC peering. So today we are going to discuss with transit gateway. Okay. So if you uh, see this uh, diagram, so we have four VPC, so we required six peering connections. If you remember the formula, it is n into n minus one by two, n is equal to number of VPC. So now we have four VPC, so total six peering connections. That is one limitations because if the number of VPC is more, then the peering connections will be more and it will be very, very complicated for an administrator to manage it. So how transit gateway will help that situations? If you see my diagram, so we have to create one transit gateway and we need to attach the VPC. We call that as a transit gateway attachment. So in that attachment, we can create, we can attach multiple VPC. Let's say we have 10 VPC. So we can create 10 attachment. We don't have to create multiple transit gateway, only one transit gateway and we need to create the multiple attachment. So once you created the attachment, now my requirement is from this EC2 instance, how it will connect to this EC2 instance, which is in different VPC. Okay. So how this will work. Okay. So when it will, when transit gateway attachment is created and transit gateway route table, proper route table will be added. Then the communications will happen from this EC2 instance. It will go to the transit gateway. And from that transit gateway, the request will send to this other EC2 instance, which is in different VPCs. Okay. Um, the simplified diagram, so that we understood uh, we understood using the VPC peering. So now we need to create a transit gateway. And once the transit gateway created and all the attachment done, then the routing table, just what we did on the peering, let's say peering what we did this server from this server, we want to connect to this server. It means this server informations will be added here in this route table. If you see, 10.01024 here added and we added the VPC peering destination should be VPC peering but in this case the destination should be transit gateway it means this is source and this is destination so source cider range will be added into the destinations route table and the destination is towards transit gateway and similarly the destinations like this server informations will be added into this this server's route table and the destination should towards to the transit gateway. Let us jump into the practical because transit gateway is very, very complicated and very, very vast topic. Uh, so we need to understand, we required two, three more videos on that, but I will establish the connections like same, same thing we did it using the VPC peering. Now today I will show you how to do that in using the transit gateway. And we will discuss in each terminal each term like what is transit gateway what is transit gateway attachment what is associations what is propagations we will discuss that in upcoming videos okay so now my scenario like we have two vpc vpc and a and vpc b if you see there is no peering connections and uh, we have four ec2 instance four servers like we have jump which denotes a that is in VPC A and which denotes B that is in VPC B. So jump server A and app server A and jump server B and app server B. So we have, so now my request is my, uh, my uh, implement like uh, the, my requirement is from this jump server, I will connect from here. I will do the uh, request to this app server B. Okay, that is my requirement. If you see the diagram, I will connect to this jump server like that is nothing but the bastion server. From here, I will make the request to this app server B and, and it need to be connected using the transit gateway because still there is no peering connections. Okay, so now we need to go to this transit gateway. It is in VPC uh, only. So we need to go to the transit gateway and we need to create a transit gateway. Okay, so now what is the mandatory field we'll add it but we will discuss about in each term okay so now i am just creating uh transit uh, something uh transit gateway something test okay i'm adding it descriptions uh, this is used for testing something i added 
okay and this is i am not adding anything and this is we will going to discuss in our upcoming videos now only i'm adding i'm not adding anything just simply creating the transient gateway okay and and it will take some time it will take some time another uh, maybe three to four minutes of time so by that meantime i'm pausing the videos and once it is available we will uh, start it so it took two minutes for me uh, to that transit gateway in the available state if you see now transit gateway is an available okay so like when we create ppc like by default the route table network acl and dhcp options it automatically created if you create a vpc it will be automatically created okay route table uh, network acl and the dhcp option set like that when we create the transit gateway by default automatically one transit gateway route table will be created if you see the transit gateway route table it will automatically a transit gateway route table will be created now we have created the transit gateway now we need to create the attachment okay so you need to create the transit gateway attachment create attachment now i need to do the vpc a attachment okay so now you have to select the transit gateway attachment type so there are multiple attachment vpc vpn peering connect we'll discuss more but now our intention is to attach the vpc okay and here it is saying which vpc id so we need to select VPC A and what are the availability zone? Okay, so I'm selecting by default AP South 1A and 1B for high availability. So both are connected. Okay, uh, that's it. I'm not doing anything and create the transit gateway attachment. So now I've created one attachment and that is that will take some time to be an available state. By that meantime, I will creating another attachment. So this time VPC B, if you have 10 number of VPCs, you need to attach like that. So now we have to select the same transit gateway and attachment type is VPC and this time VPC B. And here also I selected the default one. Okay, default subnets are there and creating the attachment. It will take some time to be uh, both the attachment is in available state. Again, I'm pausing the videos and once it is available, uh, we will reconnect. So it took around one minute of time to uh, to be in the available state of both the attachment so now we have the transit gateway ready and we have all the attachments so both the attachments now ready so now the next step is okay let me go to the transit gateway and i will tell you something so if you see the transit gateway uh, one minute yeah so now the transit gateway is created and uh, if you see the transit gateway route table Okay, there will there will be something associations and there will something propagations. So we did not associate anything. So when we created the attachment, by default, these associations and propagations will be uh, created automatically. So now I'm not adding anything. Let us do that. I'm testing and further in upcoming videos, we'll discuss in each detail. Okay, so now the requirement is jump server, the VPCA. So let me connect it to that jump server. Okay, uh, let me check the, okay, I did the ECT user mistake, so that's the reason it is not working. Okay, so now I'm, I'm connected to this jump server. So from here, if you see the diagram from here, I need to connect to the app server B. Okay, so app server B is nothing but this one. And this is the private IP. And I need to hit the ping or telnet. Let me hit the telnet. And this is the IP and 22 port. It will not work because both are in different network and there is no routing. Okay, so now we need to create the routing. Now we need to go to this jump server A. Okay, from this jump server, we need to go to this uh, uh, route table. So I need to go to the subnet and its route table. As on this route table, I need to add a routes and this route should be go to this this is a two instance app server b instance okay so app server b ip is this one okay so from here i need to add the routes this one uh, single ip means 32 and this will go via the transit gateway 
okay this will automatically come the transit gateway so one route we have added so like this info this app server b information is added into this bastion host now this bastion host informations need to be added into the app server b so now i need to go to this app server b and it's networking it's a route table okay and this route table i need to add a routes and in this route request will go to this jump server ip okay so then what is the jump server ip jump server ip is this one now i will add this jump server ip okay and the request will go by this transit gateway okay so now uh, if you see the diagram this bastion server information is added into this app server and the request is coming towards transit gateway and this app server information is added into the bastion server towards uh, jump server sorry towards transit gateway okay uh, let me check if you see that it is connected now okay control c okay let me do that okay now to the telnet same thing it is now able to connect it connected means it is going via this transit gateway because earlier it was not connected and the security group related is already allowed let me show you it means from here I'm, this is my source and i want to try to the destination it means on this destination security group the source ip must be allowed okay let me verify in that app server b okay in that app server b security group okay inbound rules and we must have a route okay if you see ssh port is already allowed for 10.0.1.32 port okay if i delete this now it is not going to work the ping is or telnet is not going to work let us see that let us try okay if you hit it now it is not going to work though my route table properly added but there is no proper uh, a security group is not allowed let me do that let me add the security group and uh, we will verify now okay so here i will add the edit inbound rules add rules and let me ssh open and that ip is 10 sorry 0 dot 1 dot 18 let me cross verify it is yes 10 0 1 18 uh, 10 0 1 18 Okay, I, I did not add it the 32 to 10, sir. 10 dot 0 dot 1 dot 18 slash 32. Okay, added, save the rules. Now, if I try, it should work. Okay, it's now connection is working. So now my request is uh, going via this transit gateway. Okay, how to verify that? If you can, if you can um, open a new session. Okay, uh, let me do that or else we will do in the upcoming videos okay so now this uh, in this videos we understand how the transit gateway we have created and how to attach it the particular vpc once the attachment is done then we need to make the changes in the route table information once properly the route table is added then we need to attach or we need to verify the security group rules once that security group rules added we will easily connect to that transit gateway so now it is easier because now we added two vpc if you require multiple vpc then we can add multiple attachment okay we do not have to every time someone has to be requester someone has to be acceptor and the acceptor has to approve it or else if you reject then the peering connections cannot be done okay so here it is simpler and uh, in our upcoming videos we'll discuss in each point what is the attachment what is associations and what is propagations and the attachment type is multiple like vpc we can attach we saw that options okay let me show you once um, if you see the transit gateway attachment okay and uh, if you create attachment if you see attachment type is vpc vpn peering connection connect and we'll discuss in each point okay vpc now we discussed we'll discuss about vpn peering connections and connect okay uh, by that time by that time please practice it these videos if you have any issues please add into the comments then i will help you out okay thank you for watching my videos thank you